What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make these tentacles with Umami. If you guys like how this looks, please make sure to watch the entire video through. With all that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead into plugins and go ahead and click Umami. If you guys don't have Umami, I'll leave a link in the description on how you guys can get Umami. Go ahead and just click Umami and then go over to this pen tool right here, hold this down and grab a circle. You can also do a cogwheel too. Cogwheel definitely looks better in my opinion, but it takes longer to render. For this example, I'm going to be using a circle, so go ahead and select the circle. Go ahead and click the scale tool and go ahead and scale this down a ton very small like that once you have this go ahead and click umami go ahead and click mesh and just drag the circle right into the mesh all right so this is too small so i'm going to go back to the circle and then make sure you're on the scale tool and then scale this back up basically you're scaling the circle back up to make the umami thicker so i think something like that looks pretty good now what you guys can do is go ahead and go to the umami go to spline and go ahead and change the uh, rotation around so these three right here go ahead and just randomize this kind of just drag it you know whatever you want so I'm gonna use something kind of like eh, kind of like that maybe and then go ahead drag this up and just move it back behind the umami like so uh, something kind of like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Now what you guys can do is go ahead and click Umami and then change the number of splines to add more splines. So I think that looks pretty cool just like that. Now what you guys can do is go ahead and hit Control C, Control V on the Umami. This will copy and paste it in. Now go ahead and click the rotation tool and go ahead and rotate this around to a different angle and you guys can get some nice effects I think kinda like that looks pretty good so yeah also I'm gonna change the splines down a little bit on this one because it's covering the text too much so something like that looks pretty cool now what you guys can do is go ahead and throw some materials on here this material is coming out soon so stay tuned for that anyways guys that is pretty much it for this tutorial that is how to use Umami if you guys found this tutorial helpful, please make sure to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.